Hey, Bronco here from Apex Vaulting. Another one of these weekly videos. And a topic that I was thinking about this past week that I wanted to bring up. I think a lot of people think about coaches, and especially in the pole bowl. You know, we think about coaches, man, they're really important at the big meet uh, for that athlete who's got a shot at winning that big meet whether it's state, nationals, whatever. And I have a little bit different opinion on that. I think often when you're dealing with athletes who are very talented, training has been going well, there are things that coach may have done throughout the year, the season, or several years to maybe help get that athlete on the right path but often at that big meet, come that day, for the athlete that's prepared, that's talented, has the skills, that's put in the work, you could send a rookie coach to that meet and that athlete is gonna compete very well. You're gonna do very well. Because the athlete also is well aware of kind of their boundaries of what's possible, what's not possible as far as step or grip whole and can help that coach you know use their eyes and, and guide them through the meet for me when I think about when I'm most needed when your coaching is so important is usually for the athlete that's not going to have a great day the athlete who maybe is a little bit in over their head, maybe jumping out of their league. That is when a great coach is needed. I, to give you an example of this, I remember one time going to a meet for a college athlete. It was about a five hour drive And I knew going to that meet, there was a high likelihood that this athlete was gonna know height. Now this was a talented athlete. And to give you a little bit of context, you know, the athlete had missed a week of practice because of finals and all this kind of stuff. And I totally understood that this was definitely a hardworking athlete, talented, just the way things worked out, they were not that week prepared. And I knew it was going to be a very difficult day. And, you know, it's not, it's definitely not easy on my end to go make a five hour trip to a meet. But I knew it was so important because that athlete was gonna have a hard day to be at that meet. So I drove out there, I went out there because I knew that if that athlete had the day I thought they might, they were gonna need me way more than if they were gonna have a good day. So better that I, I'm there to help guide them through that tough day. And as I predicted, the athlete did know height. And I, I think it was very important that I was there. One, to show that athlete that good day or bad day, I'm, I'm gonna make every effort to be there. And help them deal with a tough loss, a tough meet like that. To put it into perspective, it's just one day. We still have another meet after this, or we have next year. Or even, you know what, if it's someone's last meet of their pole vaulting career and they're not planning to jump anymore, to put it into perspective that this one day doesn't take away the years of training, the years of experience, the years of memories. I think when an athlete's about to have a tough day like that, that's when you're needed the most. Those athletes who are ready to win or ready to jump high and you know they've put in all the work and everything's set up, almost anybody can coach that person that day. But it's those difficult days when a coach is needed most. We can 
prevent that athlete from beating themselves up because you know if you are a coach listening out there you may not realize this but oftentimes your athletes are beating themselves up more than you could ever beat them up you know with with words or training or whatever athletes are very hard on themselves and you and you need to be there to remind them that they don't have to be yes we could all think about things that we could have things that we could have done differently um, things we could have changed, maybe even decisions the day of the meet that could have been uh, different. But we need to use that to make tomorrow better. Not just sit and beat ourselves up and that's it. So always remember, you know, if you're coaching an athlete who you know is going through a tough time tough part of the season. They're not going to do well out of me. That's all the more reason for you to go. That is probably the most important time to go as a coach. One of the things that I always say to athletes, and I've said it to many, is look, I'm going to be there. If you go to the meet, you're gonna win, I'll be there to high five you. If you go to the meet and you're gonna know height, I'm gonna be there and, and I can be the shoulder that you can lean on as you cry, as you complain, whatever, you can let it out, I will still be there. That's my job as a coach is to be there, good day or bad day. I think that's really, really important. And I think if more coaches understood that your athletes knew you were in their corner through good days and bad, you'd be amazed at how hard your athletes will work. You'd be amazed at how much more effort they would put into their training, into their technique, into the sport. And one of the things that I think about, and, and I was talking about it tonight with another one of my coaches and, and athletes, was, you know, there's this dichotomy, okay? One, as a coach, we are always responsible for what is happening because we're the leader. It is on us. The athlete has a bad day, we have to think about what we could have done differently. But at the same time, we have to be forgiving of ourselves. No one is perfect. We all make mistakes. I don't care how amazing of a coach you are. I don't care how many national champions you've had. I don't care how many state champions you've had. I don't care what institution you coach at. You're not perfect. You make mistakes. And the thing is, when you set that stage and your athletes know that you are hard on yourself, but also forgiving, they also can be tough on themselves and also be forgiving of themselves. We have to have both of these things at play. I obviously don't want to not care how my athletes do. Not my problem. That's terrible. Can't think like that. But at the same time, you can't beat yourself up so much that you are that, that, that you're defeated. So when you take that kind of ownership of things, that, that goes to your athletes too. They now take ownership of their effort. They take ownership of, of the energy they put in the accountability of their technique, their training sessions, but they also can be more forgiving after a bad day. They're not on the verge of quitting the sport. Because I think when you have almost an all or nothing attitude, this is what pushes athletes away from a sport. Guess what? Everyone has a bad meet. Everyone can lose a meet. Everyone can even have a bad season or seasons. These things happen. We go through tough times in life. 
But we can't be so defeated that we just give up. Yes, we should revisit and think about the things that we could have done differently, things we'd like to change next time around. But we can't beat ourselves up so much that, we're, we, that we just want to quit. What kind of lesson is that for life? We've got to be able to pick ourselves back up and keep moving forward. Because that's what you need to do the rest of your life. You may be able to quit pole bowl, but you can't just quit everything else in your life. So in pole bowl, if you want athletes that can make it through the tough times, you have to set that stage. And again, that's why I say the most important time for you to be there as a coach is not when someone's winning. That's easy. Everybody knows how to handle winning. The most important time for you to be there as an athlete is when you know an athlete is going to have a tough time. If you know they're gonna know height, or you know they're gonna have a rough meet, or they're not going to place where a lot of people think they should. So you have an athlete that's supposed to win the state title, or you have an athlete that's supposed to be top five, and, and you know that's probably not gonna happen. All the more reason for you as a coach to be there that day to help guide them through that process so they aren't so defeated and they don't want to give up. And they understand that this is just one step on their journey. Well, thank you for listening. Um, have a great week. I'll see you guys next time.